I'm Devashish Basu, a diabetologist and uh, functioning as uh, the president of an organization called Diabetes Awareness India. Our purpose of work is basically to understand and educate the common man about the nuances of life or the order and the disorder of modern living. Now, type 2 diabetes, we know, is an enormous global emergency. But do we know that there's something called obstructive sleep apnea, that is you go out of breath while you're sleeping, almost, you know, more than five times in an hour, you stop breathing, and that is a result from diabetes, as well as that can also bring about diabetes. So it is a vicious cycle, either way you go. Almost seven out of 10 people with diabetes have obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, which is unrecognized. So well, how does it affect diabetes? Is that when you are going out of breath, you're actually struggling to bring your body to sleep again and you're waking in the meantime as you're going out of breath because of low oxygen count. And that happens in the brain. There's a sympathetic nervous discharge from the brain which wakes you up, which is micro arousal, not fully triggering you to be awake, up and awake, but there is an awakening and that gives rise to a lot of discharges of these hormones which are actually counter-regulatory to the action of insulin. And finally, they give rise to a kind of, a, uh, of an insulin resistance, which will trigger diabetes in the people who are otherwise normal but suffer from OSA. People who have type 2 diabetes and have OSA can naturally have a lot of these complications, which are exaggerated hypertension or hypertension is blood pressure, which is high. They have sudden uh, cardiac death risk you die suddenly on bed and you have you know the tendency of obesity uh, all the chronic complications that are now associated with lifestyle uh, disorders all come in uh, to play with um, uh, OSA overall the associated symptoms of uh, sleep apnea is you know basically irritability poor memory depression mood changes morning headache uh, you know you wake up with a headache because of all these cortisol and other uh, strong hormones which disturb uh, the vasculature. The endothelium lining of the vessels uh, are now geopardized. They were very tired. And uh, uh, as I said, you know, daytime sleepiness, loss of energy, even getting up uh, for urine, noctudia. So you don't feel good at the end of a full sleep. Now, how do you measure all this? Is we do a sleep study in these patients whom you actually diagnose with a with a simple uh, questionnaire called the stop bank. Now, if you answer that stop bank, there's a I will show you that uh, chart, and out of that there is an indication for which you or whom you will actually do a sleep study or a polys polysomnography test. Now, in this test, what comes out is that you have an apnea or a hypoapnea, which is not fully out of breath but very low your oxygen saturation is coming and you're not yet out of the breath that ratio apnea hypoapnea ratio if it is less than five per hour it is not for everyone but if it's five to fifteen it is called mild category of obstructive sleep apnea fifteen to thirty it is called moderate and above thirty it is called uh, severe it is our important contribution to society to make people aware that they should uh, you know understand the severity of the association, the link between type 2 diabetes and OSA, and they should, you know, answer these questionnaires. They should actually expose themselves to this kind of test, and finally, with the results, they should come to us for treatment. And we have seen that the CPAP, the continuous uh, positive airway pressure, that uh, device actually has changed the, you know, pattern of diabetes management in a lot of studies, and we recommend very strongly that if you take a CPAP treatment just for a day, you will start seeing the changes in your insulin resistance. There you become more sensitive, your diabetes is uh, getting better. And so therefore, we need to actually find out who is the right candidate for a CPAP. 
and then we put him on a CPAP and the whole life changes thereafter. So there are sleep services, there are diabetes services which we would want to link uh, you know, from different organizations and we want to change the tainted color of uh, health in our society.